there. That's what she said. Some people apparently say they want to see your face. Don't ask me why. Because I'm beautiful. Beautifully hideous. I was thinking about <laughs> why do you have this some voice of the on right now? Sexiest. You got like an man. Italian New York Italian thing going on. I'm right? a New York Italian. You got a this problem is not with your that. voice. Fuck you. <laughs> Hey, welcome back to our stupid reaction. It's up, Corbin. I'm Rick. And you follow us on Instagram, Instagram, Twitter. Juice, it's go, juicy, you son it's of a so bitch. Juicy. Whoa, no vulgarity on this show, please. Ever. This is a family establishment. That's what I'm talking about. Uh, today's penis. I mean, uh, what vulva? <laughs> um. <laughs> wow, it's off the rails. <laughs> Today we're doing something unique. We're doing a re-review, everyone. <laughs> is that the? <laughs> Yeah, is that the re <laughs> review? It's like a review is and that... review. <laughs> I don't know what that was. We've never done this before. Uh, but so yeah, I've never done that before. We're doing a re review of KGF. KGF, uh, chapter one, by the way. Obviously, because the new one is about to come out. Um, we saw it three years ago. I think it was either the third or fifth film we saw. I think it was one of those. Yeah. Uh, it was early. Definitely the first South film we saw. 100% the first um, South film we saw. Um, we and, saw it before Gully Boy. Yeah, we did. Yeah. Um, but. Uh, I asked on um, one we were gonna do a refresher anyway, obviously before the new. Yeah, film we were came planning out. on watching it. And I asked on Twitter. I said, "Would you like to see us do a re-review?" And so obviously, if you'd like to see our original, like fresh thoughts, we hadn't, didn't know anything. I will post that in the description below so you can see our original review of the film. Uh, this will be kind of a rehashing and what we kind of thought, if anything, we thought differently. Uh, some stuff that we learned the second time around. Also, our expectations for the second one. Right. And so this will be kind of almost a podcast. I mean, I guess all of our reviews are kind of podcast yeah, kind of right? podcasty. Yeah. Um, but anyway, so obviously it's 100% spoiler review. Uh, yeah, if you so watch it, go watch it. it. The second it. one's about to come out. You, come you on. should be yeah. seeing it before you go see it anyway. Uh, we saw it on Amazon. Uh, but Rick, your initial rerun thoughts, please. Well, I don't count this one as a... No, no, uh, yeah, it's, it's, not, not a... it's not part of the count. No, so no, no, we don't no, have no. any of that. And my paragraph is, watch our review from three years ago. Yeah, right? Because <laughs> <laughs> I did that. I watched our review after I watched the film. You felt the exact same? I, I'm, I watched it like, yep. Yeah. Actually, the only difference this time would be... Mm. I I enjoyed the first half more the then, second then, then time. You, much okay, more, yes. Yeah. Yeah. So, I still think the second half is the much stronger it, uh, part of the film. It is, and it starts again from the storyteller. Yeah. It actually starts from El Dorado when the, it's, I guess, is the interval, right? Yeah, that, yeah, yeah, that yeah. middle point where we actually go into El Dorado. Yeah. The movie could start. There. Yeah, it could. Uh, and I obviously I knew why they kind of didn't. Obviously, they wanted to build up the the character and stuff like that and and all that kind of stuff and yeah i mean indian films you kind of got to it's kind of and you'd kinda... miss i mean there's so much good stuff but, in that front part like we talk about in the review i think that's kind of why i'm looking forward to the second one a lot i think is if it starts from obviously a continuation of where they currently are you there's just shit's gonna hit the fan yeah I mean, it's already kind of hit the fan right but it's gonna hit the fan even more yeah. uh and if they continue the momentum of you no know, now that we know rocky already and you don't have to kind of build up to everything right because i don't think it's not a perfect film but i think no. it's it's a very entertaining um i think it's a, a fantastic action and stunt work yeah and this sound thing. man the 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 thing that i was reminded of uh and also apparently the choreographers for KGF are also the same ones for Beast. Oh, so the nice. stunt people the fight choreography the, is going to be choreography is the exact same for Beast. Awesome. Uh, but anyways, yeah, that's one of the things that, that stood out again this time is that the fight scenes are so gritty, so bloody, and so Some well great done kills, man. Uh, in in this in this film. Um, and the editing did not bother me as much this time around. Yeah, I was going to ask. I think what it was was since it, it is fast editing. But I was probably, since we're so new and, you know, reading subtitles is something you had to get used to. And now it's just, the subtitles are always on on my TV. I literally just. Everything I watch is always subtitles. The Office has subtitles Yeah, me on. too. <laughs> Everything just, we like, watch has subtitles. I'm not going to turn them off. I'm going to have to turn them on. <laughs> Alexa, they're all the same way. Like, when we turn something on, if it has the, the, the subtitles on, they're like, oh, yeah, please leave it on. Do I always leave it on? Yeah. <laughs> yep. And so, um, I think I was, like, trying to look up, down, up, down, up, down. And, and so, obviously... Maybe this time, since I didn't have to pay attention as much to subtitles, uh, this time that it didn't bother me as Probably much. Probably so, because um, I, I've recognized that about our capacity to... Uh, it's actually easier with Hindi films because there's so many different things I can kind of grasp. I don't 
uh, it's like words heard enough stuff. words yeah. now that there's enough that I don't feel as locked into it. Plus, we've talked about this one over and over again. Most uh, like Hindi, Bengali, uh, even the Assamese films that we saw, they don't talk at the clip that South Indians talk. Yeah. Yeah, especially Malayalam. Yeah, so we have Malayalam's yeah. the quickest, but even this one, this yeah. Canada was, it, it it was still quick. quick in some spots. Um, and they're still like, I I don't love everything about the storytelling, the way they decided to do the film. Mm-hmm. Uh, and I think I felt the exact same way the first time around. Yeah. Um, but they make up for it. Um, like the, I don't like the whole trope of, all right, tell us about the story and, and kind of. Because the whole thing is a story that's being told. Yeah, it's right? a story within a story. And that's story. an old trope, right? Yeah. And it's, it, it doesn't take anything away. I just, I don't like that style. I think it's kind of like flashbacks. It's kind of like cheap. And I'm like, just tell the story. Like, I don't need yeah. to know that this is not in the, the present. Only, the only way that usually works is if the telling of the story is really essential to the overall storytelling. Yeah. And this doesn't feel that way. I agree like, with you. This could have just been. Mad Max, narrated. Mad Max story. Yeah. Mad Max didn't need to be narrated. Yeah, that's true. It, it didn't just, even need a narration. It, it was like, this is the world. Yeah. You're in it now. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Cool. But again, I get it. And it doesn't bother me. Like, it's yeah, fine. Yeah, it's fine. Um, but luckily, the, the thing that this film does so well is that it knows what it is. Yeah. It knows it's an action film, and the action is carrying the story along. There's, that's what's so great about it is that it... The, and I th- the pacing uh, is Honestly, good. I think this is what set the standard for us... And is one of the reasons why we were disappointed with like Pushpa. Pushpa, the way it was advertised, it was advertised like a big banger action film. Yeah, and it was. That's a KGF's a big banger action film, yeah. and it wasn't. Yeah, you don't like. Uh, we say this all the time. People think like we think everything needs to have thespian kind of no, stuff in it. This doesn't have thespian stuff in it. I still Not enjoy the R R. Yeah, I still enjoy the heck out of this. Yeah, film. Um, and but as long as you know what you are. And like you, and what you advertised is what you right. what shows up on screen. This, the action carries this thing. That there's very little amount of time where it's just kind of dialogue between two people. Ever very little time. And yeah. if there is, it's probably in, it's, it's in leading an action scene <laughs> or it's leading to the action. And so, like, I, I I'm totally because obviously some of the acting is kind of weird and and dialogue is kind of like the and the stereo- dubbing doesn't help. Yeah, God. And I don't know what was wrong with our version on, on Amazon. I don't know if you had this. Like, it was kind of almost distorted a little bit. It was bit. big. Yeah, it was just not mixed right. It, yeah. was, it was a little too hot. So I'm looking forward to the, the actual theater yeah. uh, experience we're going to get. And so hopefully it's better because the dubbing was bad. But I've, I've grown. Um, I know it's been such a norm that I'm able. I'm better able now to set that aside in terms yeah. of it bothering me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And enjoy a film even though it's dubbed. But yeah, this the thing that carries this as long is one the action and they they. It's <laughs> obviously in a normal film you're like okay you're you're kind of just jumping along plot points here but in this film it works mm-hmm. because like I right, hey and now. He's going to be here. Next scene, they're there. They're there, and then the action is starting. Right, and and for this kind of film, it works, mm-hmm. and it can it keeps you engaged, which is good in a film that that's what you're supposed to get. Yeah, obviously, and, and if the bong was all like the first scene in the bong, we would have enjoyed it a heck of a lot more. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. This film really is like nonstop. I hope this analogy functions. It's like nonstop it. slingshotting. Yeah, because. The action sequence would be the letting go of a slingshot. Mm-hmm. But then all the moments in between, there's this tension of buildup about another action sequence is coming. So you don't ever feel a slowdown like we have in some of the films we've just referenced, as yeah. well as the fact that, again, we said this in the original review, it's the most epic beard on screen uh. Right up there with Leonidas, as far as like that, and I absolutely yeah, a good believe. Man. The magnetism and the aura and the sexuality of Yash. Yeah, hundred percent. hundred percent love him in this role. Yeah. Believe him to be a sex symbol and this guy that can kick everybody's yeah. ass. I didn't. I didn't love the the romance element in this. Like that they tried because I thought it was kind of almost pointless. I was like, uh, I'm, thankfully, it, they didn't go too no, far. No, they into didn't. It, thankfully, uh, thankfully. But I'm hoping that they continue. Like. It's not because obviously she's still there, and it showed at the end she's still going to be there in the second one. Yeah, and so I'm just hoping that they they don't. That's not what we're going to be focusing on. No, my my hope. I'm, I think I'm from so the trailer, looking forward to Sanjay Dutt. I the trailer I think is going to lead us into the road where we're going to be dark Mad Max esque. Yeah. Uh, oh, 
And and I think they're still going to tie into some stuff that really pulls at his heartstrings for his mother. Yeah, I think that's going to that's got a song that they released. Um, But the uh, another thing in this that was so good is the cinematography. Yeah, it's it's one of the uh, on the top of the action. It's a beautiful film to look yeah, at. Yeah, it is. It's it, really it's, pretty. It's, I know you keep harping on it, and everybody does that they see this, because it's very similar to a Mad Max gritty, deserty war vibe, yeah. almost, right? Yeah. Uh, but it's 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 wonderful to look at. I Especially think that, the second half, because the uh-huh. production design and all the color correction, everything they did, they maintained that template. Like we saw, it's weird, because they carried the darkness, right? That yeah. They needed to. Yeah. But it's almost like they went from, in, in, in this... The second half carries with it like a deep, earthy, dark brown, whereas the trailer for the sequel is charcoal. So this one was dark. It was a dark, earthy brown and like a little bit of a soot. But the next one's almost like oil and charcoal. Yeah, absolutely. It's so wonderful. Um, And it's... It's going to be super interesting what they do when we see it in, what, two days from now. Yeah. because obviously the way they did it with the guy that's telling the story, he flashed forward it a couple times. Yeah. Into like the scene at the club or the, there was another scene as well where he was like, oh, did I do it yeah, again? Yeah, did I jump ahead Did already? I jump ahead? Yeah, so did, yeah, yeah, yeah. Are those, I'm guessing those are scenes we're going to be getting come the second one. Yeah. I'm so hoping that, because I don't know in what, if they filmed these at the same time or if they filmed the first one, released it, and then started filming the second one. I don't know. I'm hoping that's what the case is. One, so they can improve on some stuff. Yeah. And got feedback. Yeah. And then also got, like, the producers, even though they gave them a bunch of money for this, gave them just, I spend whatever you want. Just, yeah. Just make it a great film. And I'm so thankful. I mean, at the end of our review, we talk about how excited we are for the sequel. <laughs> Three years later. But but during the, the lockdowns and the delays of everything... I am so glad that these big kids right here that RRR, RRR and KGF2 yeah. got theatrical releases. Yeah. I'm so glad that worked out. Yeah. And uh, for expectations for the second one, I'm I'm literally hoping it's going to be two and a half hours of the second half. I have I have high hopes. Um, and, and I'm glad we got this refresher right before one, so we kind of still know the kind of theme and, and the style that they filmed the first one in. So right. we know like some of the flaws – It'll they'll probably still be there in the second one. I expect you've set us up like John Wick did, yeah. Where I expect to have great stunt choreography, yeah, with gruesome kills, yeah. I think they're going to take it up a notch. I think this is going to be. I think we're going to see some graphic violence from everything we've seen in the trailers. Yeah, it looks like and it. I'm hoping so. Yeah, with great sound effects and visual effects with. I think maybe a, a real with with Sanjay Dutt and that character. Ooh. I'm hoping we get a surprise it's, like we did from like I'm not talking like the Joker, but I'm yeah. hoping we get like a Tom Hardy Bane thing yeah. where might not be Oscar level, but it sure comes close enough to yeah. be talking about. Wow, I didn't expect that. Thespian Do you think to he's the up. guy with the ring? I think so. Yeah, I think I, so because I, I couldn't remember if the if if they showed his ring in the trailer, but yeah. they kept showing that guy with the with the I think it's like a lion ring or something, and, um, and we. We, and there's like, I don't know. I mean, and obviously, I don't know anything. And if you do, don't put anything down on the bottom. But we were told about him not having a father. Yeah, that doesn't mean we know. Oh, you think? You think I think Sanjay, Sanjay Dutt could, is his, his I dad. I think it could set out that he's he's a bad, 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 bad guy. You think you're bad? Guy. Sanjay Dutt is your dad. <laughs> <laughs> and I think there may be a conundrum he runs into with the fact that it's his father. That's my guess. Is that we got a we got a, an Anakin Luke thing going on? I don't think so because no? I think because there's too much. That's my guess. And I, I don't know if it's just because I w- uh, I was brought up Christian. I think there's a lot of Christian elements in this, right? We talked about that Obviously, in the first. We talked I, about that in the first. I, I, the whole Messiah, I, a ton, aspect, right? A ton of it. And so I don't know if they're for going for like a Mary. Kind of an immaculate, immaculate kind of thing. They they clearly were looking for that as part of the initial thing. Mm. It also helps that for whatever reason it was R R R that clicked with me. That oh, now I understand. I understand why they defy physics. Yeah, they're human beings, but they have the same superpowers as all of the DC and Marvel comic yeah, book yeah, characters. Yeah, 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 so yeah. You, it, it, you accept that, but all of that. Um, from like I said in the review, I said I could would love to teach a class on all of the different heroes from 
mythology and history, but particularly the the if you look at the Christology of of the Messiah in the Judeo Christian, well, it's all there. And yes, the but I don't think it's going to hold so strong. I really think there'll be a deepening of the mother aspect. Yeah. But I think part of that's going to come into play with I'm predicting Sanjay's dad. You think Sanjay's dad? Yeah. I think so. Yeah, that I hadn't thought about him being his dad. And I don't think that's it. I, I, I'm not predicting that one. Yeah. But I'm so excited for his character. I am too. One, I'm excited for all of this. Uh, <laughs> this is going to be like, I know we've seen Sanjay Dutt in like small supporting stuff. And obviously, he's one of the actors that we've need, desperately needed to delve into more. Um, but this is going to be like his first real big thing. I mean, maybe he doesn't have a big part, but they're playing it like he does. He has like a Viking thing going on. Well, and it could be, you know, like Alia and RRR, you just need to show, uh, and even Jay, you just show their face and people are like, oh, I didn't know they were in it. And you'll go just because they're in it. I think Why? he plays a supporting role. I think he's like the Bane yeah. in, in Batman. That would be disappointing to me. If he was that, if he was small, that small, me too. Because they've played him up as me bigger. too. I, I'm hoping I, he plays a large I, antagonistic part. I of knew this. Alia and and she, she had an even smaller role than in, than a Jay did. Yeah, but I knew they had kind of had just small supporting roles, right? And they weren't playing him up as like. Uh, I think they're playing him up as almost the lead villain. In yeah, this. I'm hoping he is. Maybe Again, maybe I, you guys could tell us if 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 that's a wrong assumption. And obviously, I'm expecting Yash to obviously be the. He's gonna kill it. The lead. He's gonna this. kill it. Uh, and I want him to be his sexy, yeah, um, handsome, kick-ass self. Yep. I'm so looking forward to the stunt choreography. I am too. And the he, second one, he really does carry. Like for those of you, sorry for all of you who I've been getting messages, who watched our debung reaction, and <laughs> Shh, I don't say I, anything. I, 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 I'm just letting you know. I've had someone send me multiple photographs of Salman Khan saying, "How can you not appreciate?" How sexy this guy is, and I, I looked at all the pictures and sent back. I'm happy. For, I'm not saying someone else can't see it. It's like I personally don't get it. Now, this man, I get it. Yeah, he's a, he's a very attractive. Totally get it. And and the the style he puts off absolutely in this film is um, wonderful. I, right when I finished it, um, I, I texted the group and I was like, I right, just watch KGF. I'm hyped for the second one now, and I'm ready. Yeah, uh, and this is what I've, I, I wanted the entire time because obviously, um, I didn't remember much. Me too. I, I had knew, forgotten I knew, a I knew lot I of it. I liked the second half more. Me too. And and I, I love. I remember. I I was waiting for and looking forward to the mining, the 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 few fights. The first fight when he's hanging, I remembered that. Yeah. I remembered the fight with the 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 girl and the the drinks and the I love you thing. Yeah. And then the one, my favorite fight was like the Rambo style in the mine. Yeah. But there were story elements. Yeah. I had completely forgotten. Yeah. And so I'm I'm just I'm hoping they'll at least match the first one. Um and and give us what they gave us. If they gave us a bunch of action and 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 some good story, then I think I'll be I'll be I'll be a happy camper. My expectation is um basically Mad Max on roids. Yeah. With it being even more um, stylized, per se, because mm -hmm. um, Mad Max wasn't – it had style, but it wasn't stylized. Like, say, the, the ultimate stylization of, a, of, of like 300, super, yeah. super stylized. Yeah, I'm yeah. not expecting that. I don't even want that. And I'm, I'm hoping we've got um, <laughs> gruesome, magnificent stunt work, fight work, and Sanjay being – like a Bane, yeah. As far as not the character being like Bane, but his presence being as important to the story as Bane yeah. is in, in uh, yeah, that I'm, Batman. I'm film. looking forward to that. Yeah. Me too. Uh, so hopefully, uh, we'll, uh, we are going to the first showing on Wednesday here. Yeah. And so on, it should be you guys' Thursday morning. Yeah. Right. Yep. It'll be there Thursday morning. Uh, it'll be the first, I, unless something crazy happens. Yeah. It should be the first video of that day because we're going to have to. Unfortunately, once again, we're not seeing it in IMAX because they only have the Toluca version of IMAX. And many of you have sent, thank you, you've sent maps of where it's playing because it is playing in some places. But not That close. are way too far away. So, like, we'd have to go there an hour and a half later. Like Fresno. It's yeah. like, not going to happen. Yeah. And so we have a theater that is showing in Canada. Two miles from us. 
we'll just do that. I yeah. think it'll be fine. It will be fine. Uh, but anyways, let us know uh, your thoughts and what are your expectations for KGF Chapter 2. Uh, and uh, as always, why we're idiots, down in the comments below. <laughs> Salam, Rocky, bye. <laughs> Rocky. We should do a unique intro for the... Like we did with the other one. Well, yeah. we'll do it for the review. Yeah, for the review. For the review. For the review. Yeah. Let us know what we should do. Thank you.